So the skin has been folded over and you can see that there is marked uh, uh, wasting, uh, cachexia uh, with a loss of fat and uh, even uh, atrophy of the muscle as well. As we go down into the abdomen, uh, you can see that the body has been previously embalmed. Uh, we have the stomach here and there was a peg site here. Uh, so, uh, uh, but so far, uh, nothing to report just yet. There was marked adhesion as I was removing the skin and uh, there was a previous uh, biopsy site on the right side, perhaps from a kidney biopsy. And, uh, and I think some of this scar tissue was from that and I, I presume some tumor may even be in that site as well as we continue the uh, dissection. So we removed the breastplate and you can see that the organs have a yellow hue. The lungs don't look that bad, but the, the coloration of the organs and even the soft tissue is yellow. So there was obviously some uh, biostasis and even uh, probably uh, obstruction of uh, uh, bile flow. And, uh, but the lungs are not that bad. Uh, we had already previously looked at the abdominal organs and they also have this green hue. So we'll see what that is all about. So indeed, it was a chore getting the block out, particularly on the right side. As you can see, uh, there is extensively adhered tissue. Some of that was firm. So I suspect some of that's gonna be tumor. And it uh, actually aligned the uh, paraspinous soft tissue as well, that yellow area. I presume that some of that's gonna be tumor, metastatic tumor. But I'm gonna take some sections of some of the soft tissue here, and then I'm gonna dissect the block. But uh, look at over here too, it was such extensive adhesion tissue on the left side as well, but mainly on that right side, it was a choice getting that right, uh, right uh, soft tissue out there. But wow. So we have the block out, and there is an interesting finding on the right side. I presume that it's in the inferior vena cava but I'll have to dissect that down. But all of this was just very firm tissue around this area. There was some, uh, this is the aorta here and there were some firm areas as well, some lymph nodes as well. So I suspect uh, they truly knew what was going on clinically when they did that right uh, sided uh, surgery uh, for suspected gallbladder and uh, the family was un unaware of what really went on. So I think after we investigate the uh, surgical op note, we'll know why this uh, this graft material was inserted, uh, but that's quite interesting. So finally able to get the liver out. You can see lots of adhesion tissue on the liver. And uh, as I spin it around, you're gonna see that, I think this is gonna be all tumor. It's a huge mass, very firm, firm. Palpable at about eight, eight to nine centimeter, maybe even 12 centimeter here. With all uh, firm tissue adhered to this surface of the liver. I'm sure that's gonna be tumor in that liver. Uh, probably not. As you can see, if I flip this over, you can see that a lot of the, even the bowel and the soft tissue uh, were adhered to the liver tissue. And again, uh, if I can show that graft, uh, see it maybe on, I'm trying to see where it's out of field now. Let me see if I can go. Oh, right here. There's that graft. There's some sort of a wiring in that graft there. I don't know what that is all about but uh, you can see that there's extensive tumor around it as well. So uh, I think the surgeon knew what was going on over a year ago and when they did the uh, uh, gallbladder surgery and the family wasn't, uh, or even patient for that matter, was told what was going on, the brother was released only to come back complaining of persistent pain on that side. And by the time they diagnosed it, it was advanced stage four of kidney cancer. And I think that's what we're gonna see here. Uh, but uh, it was hard to find the pancreas. I think the, I'm gonna to have to, I think the pancreas is gonna be in some of this uh, soft tissue here, but now I have to look for the pancreas and I'll weigh it all. So I've sectioned this liver and you can see this is all tumor. This is the cut surface of it. Just basically encasing that liver. Vascular invasion, I'm sure. Then I'm gonna show you the measurement of it but you can see that this is the previous gallbladder bed and it has tumor right around it as well. So that's probably why it had the jaundice appearance of the skin, but this is just all tumor uh, here, bowel to it, uh, just really bad. Uh, and I'm gonna show you, this probably was the largest area on the cut surface. And you can see it's, it's pretty much close to, uh, I want to say about eight or nine centimeters just on the one cut surface. 
uh, but a, a large yellow tumor. So I presume this is going to be all renal cell because uh, they removed the, the, the left kidney was not there. So it's, wow, such extensive disease. Wow, this is all tumor. And again, uh, that right side was essentially adhered to the, the, uh, the, the wall, the abdominal wall. And, uh, and I can see why now this is just extensive tumor, even in vascular. This is where the, 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 the graft was. So I think the surgeon knew more than what he led the patient on that he knew over a year ago. And the patient shows back up with uh, stage four advanced uh, kidney cancer everywhere. Really unfortunate.